We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. Smelling colors. <laughs> this channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that have turned into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. Savannah is one of our favorite cities in America, from the cobblestone streets and the Spanish moss lined parks to the history and the people that make this city truly unique. We've been to Savannah quite a bit. We love this town. Every time we come here, we have really good intentions of showing you around, of making a video about it. I think, in fact, we probably have three or four videos we've started. never published, <laughs> you know, we've started, but we end up just putting the camera down we're having too much yeah, fun. Yeah, we're just having too much fun. Savannah, if you don't know, is on the lower end of Georgia, right above Florida. On the coast, or on the river. This video you're watching was filmed in one day, and it's our best shot of trying to show and tell you why this city is so special to us. Every time I wear this stupid dress, I end up flashing everyone. <laughs> Do not wear this dress on a breezy day. <laughs> oh, I just flashed the whole restaurant. Now I don't want to go eat there. <laughs> All plans have already shifted for the day. We had plans of starting at Collins Quarter, but the one on Bull Street in Savannah, which is like the main location, and the line was just like around the block. So we decided, that's how it's always been. We've been there. So we just, we decided we didn't want to wait in line for it. But they have a second location inside Forsyth Park, which in my opinion, I think is better. It's more laid back. You've got the beautiful park, this huge patio. It's quieter. It's just, it's a really nice patio. So we're going to get breakfast, brunch, ordering on lunch at this point. <laughs> that shift when the weather gets warm and you go from hot coffee to cold coffee. That's the best season. They asked me if I, I think it's a lot of food, they asked me if I wanted bacon on it and I was thinking like one strip of bacon, they gave me five strips of bacon. <laughs> so, oh my word, poor little piggy. That avocado toast and it's got feta, avocado, tomato, poached egg and bacon. That looks really good. I'm hungry. <laughs> and then you got shrimp and grits. Yeah, I have shrimp and grits. That looks really good actually. Can I try that? I like to, I can't decide what I want to eat so I have to share everything. So I always say, let's order two things and split. Chris doesn't love that so much, but he humors me. Can I try some? Go ahead. Go ahead. The grits are really thick, but they're good. So with this shrimp and grits, I put chipotle sauce on it. Got a little kick. This is our food review. <laughs> We're not food bloggers whatsoever. What, what's her name? Uh, uh, Yona? Yona. Uh-huh. So cute. Crush on you. Yes, I got a crush. All right. He's picky, too. <laughs> that was breakfast and lunch. Yeah, all right, so we're making this face because we ate and it was really good, but now we're stuffed and, we're, and we've Gotta planned to walk ourselves. around. Yeah, like we were like, oh, we're gonna walk after this. You're right. No, we are. <laughs> all right, so we're in Forsyth Park. 
which is the, a really big park here. And not that we're gonna guide you around, but this is the park a lot of people come to. But there are several, that, that's the other thing about Savannah is there are parks on parks on parks. Squares, the beautiful squares. We'll, we'll show the squares. Savannah is considered to be the first planned city in America. Way back before the road names and neighborhoods, the city planners decided to place 24 squares throughout the city that would anchor the neighborhoods and provide beautiful spaces in the middle of the city. Of the 24 original squares, 22 still exist today, just like the one we're in now. We're not gonna tour guide you guys around so much today. We're really gonna more just show you our favorite places. If you want a comprehensive tour guide, a travel guide, I do have blog posts about that. I'll link them down below of like places to go, places to eat, what to pack for Savannah, that kind of stuff. But today, we're just gonna show you. We don't wanna talk and explain it. We just wanna show you, so let's go. Oh, okay, okay, come on, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> So Savannah's got a lot of history. Um, you'll see tour guides all over. all over. Like everybody's in a tour group. Oh, here come the Segway tours now. Oh, got a Segway tour. One of these squares, there's a very famous movie called Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think the whole movie was filmed here. It wasn't. And but, but one scene was. And it was a bench, sort of like we were sitting on. But they actually tore the bench down. So I don't know if it's really worth showing. We'll, we'll show you guys anyway. Yeah. It's in one of these old squares. But the whole movie Forrest Gump was filmed in the Low Country region. They say it's filmed in Alabama. It wasn't filmed in Alabama. No, it, was it was filmed, filmed in right Georgia here. and South Carolina. I hate when you just follow me around with the camera. <laughs> Everybody always thinks that she's super famous. She's signing babies, giving autographs away. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris is just following me three feet behind me. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's go. That's Mr. Oglethorpe himself. He founded Georgia. He looks like a pirate. Everything in Georgia is named Oglethorpe this and Oglethorpe that, and that's why. But, you know, that's a fairly popular statue and it was very famous in its day, but nobody's really in this, this square to see that. They're here to find the Forrest Gump bench, which is non-existent anymore. So like we said before, the Forrest Gump bench was here and they took it away. We have a friend named Curtis who, he runs a YouTube channel where he goes to famous locations where they filmed the movies. I'll put the link is channel down below. Yeah, it's a fun channel. It's a fun he's channel. Done, like what, Back so, to the Future and Yeah, stuff. he's done Back to the Future and Home Alone. Karate anyway, kid. if you're like Karate Kid, yeah, if you're like me and you're kind of like a movie nerd, go go watch his channel. It's really cool. Anyway, but everybody loves Forrest. Everybody loves Forrest. Run, Forrest. Shh. Nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go. Between the roller skater, the vintage car, and the, the tour trolley, that's Savannah in a nutshell right there. One of the most unique things about Savannah is the contrast between the old southern historical side of the city next to the young, vibrant, and youthful presence of the Savannah College of Art and Design, more commonly referred to as SCAD. If you've never heard of SCAD before, just know it's a prestigious art school where top creative companies such as Pixar, Disney, National Geographic, and even George Lucas himself recruit rising creative stars. The young presence of thousands of college kids keeps the city feeling laid back and not as stuffy as you might expect. The detail on some of this architecture is just, it's amazing. Savannah is one of the most beautiful cities I think we've ever been to. I can't afford these houses. These houses are really expensive. This is, I've heard it referred to as the prettiest street in America, and I don't know where I saw that 
or where I read that, but this tree is beautiful. Watch your step though. These trees have the right of way on the sidewalks. They're so old, the sidewalks are just very dangerous. <laughs> but it's, gosh, it's beautiful. I wish I could afford a home on this street. I don't know that I ever will be, but it's really beautiful to walk up and down. I love, this is one of my favorite places to come and walk. It's hardly a bad street in this area. Getting very hot and very sweaty because it's Savannah and it's getting summery. We're gonna get ice cream at Leopold's. We have been here before and it, it's pretty good. Let's go. Leopold's ice cream is a 102 year tradition here in Savannah. This old timey shop has been hand making ice cream since 1919 and is beloved by locals and visitors alike. Here's a fun fact Peter Leopold, who's the youngest son of the original founder of Leopold's, is a big name in Hollywood. His career as a VP of production at Paramount Pictures has brought some big names into the shop over the years, many of whom have their pictures hanging on the walls in the shop. The movie magic feel is especially relevant considering SCAD's iconic Trustees Theater is located directly next door, giving off even more of that Hollywood flair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kramer. It's on your nose, dog. It's good because it's hot outside. All right, we're gonna eat this. And melting everywhere. <laughs> Look at turning going around. <laughs> that is hot. That line, that line is super long now. That line's really long. We got there just in time. Pro tip, if you do really wanna try Leopold's, because one thing that makes Leopold special is that they do make it in-house. It is cute and vintage but if you're really just after the homemade ice cream, you can actually get some of their flavors at the Collins Quarter where we ate breakfast this morning. They have a sidewalk window in Forsyth Park. So you can go there, get your ice cream, and you don't have to stand in this crazy line. Every time we've ever been to Savannah, the line's been crazy long. For some reason, we got it super short today, and so we got ice cream, and it was good. I don't know if I'd stand in the 100 degree humidity for an hour to get ice cream, but it is good. Like we said earlier, it's impossible to show everything we love about Savannah in one day's video. But know this, the city is best experienced when you let yourself get lost. Wander the streets, visit museums, try the food, and be sure to take advantage of Savannah's laid back atmosphere. Last stop before we head out of town, I convinced Sarah that I needed coffee. And one of my favorite coffee shops in the entire country is here in Savannah. And they just got a brand new door and I'm just excited to be back in here. It's called Perk. newscaster and putting me a microphone. I don't know why. I hate when I get in travel guide mode. Savannah, I feel a lot of pressure for Savannah because I love Savannah so much and I can't get it all into one video. Maybe we should just make multiple videos. But Perk Coffee is one of our favorite coffee shops in America and that's saying something. We've been to hundreds of coffee shops across this country but they roast their own coffee and it's so good. Is this the nitro cold brew? Mm -hmm. It looks like it. Oh, so we have some cold brew for our drive. We're gonna head up and visit another island in the low country. But it's been a good visit in Savannah. I could stay here forever. And I think one thing that makes Savannah so special is that it is so livable. Like it's a great weekend trip or a week long trip if you're combining it with visiting the beach like Tybee Island just outside of town. But this city, yes, there's a lot of food to eat and a lot of history here to experience and all that kind of thing. But it's just the slow pacedness of the city makes me never want to leave. I just, I love it. It's got the youthful vibe from SCAD and then it's got just the homey feeling of the South and it's just, it's a great little city, so I definitely recommend coming here. And if you have other, if you have Savannah recommendations, maybe you're from Savannah or you've been here a lot and you're like, you didn't try this, you've gotta try it. Please drop it in the comments below. We are always looking for more recommendations for Savannah, because I know we still have only scratched the surface of this place. But anyway, it's been a good visit. I love this place, we'll be back. Miss you when you're gone. You and you're gone, gone, gone Out there singing that traveling song Oh, spread your wings just in time to spring I know it won't last long I miss you when you're gone Be 
sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.